بيس بي ابو نيو السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اعزائي الطلاب والطالبات في برنامج ملتقى الصيف ان شاء الله نلتقي مع كورس اللغه الانجليزيه مقدمه ان شاء الله بتكون باللغه العربيه لكن باقي الشروحات بتكون باللغه الانجليزيه فنرجو من يجد صعوبه في مستوى الكلام باللغه الانجليزيه ان شاء الله لن تجدوا باذن الله انا اتمنى ذلك ان شاء الله لن تجدوا سيتم الشرح بلغه انجليزيه مبسطه جدا لجميع المستويات بحيث يتم فهم الشروحات باذن الله رب العالمين فالبدايه المقدمه لغه عربيه والباقي كله لغه انجليزيه في تنويه ان بيكون في questions اسئله باذن الله في الكومنتس في التعليقات مطلوب منك انك تجاوب لي على هاي هذه الاسئله وتكتب اسمك اسمك في التعليقات تكتب اسمك في التعليقات تحت الاجابات الخاصه بك بعد كل اسبوع ان شاء الله اخر الاسبوع بنرفع على الجروب الخاص بالملتقى الصيفي اسماء باذن الله الاوائل في اللغه الانجليزيه والاجابات على اسئله الشروحات باذن الله نبدا باذن الله على بركه الله بسم الله The present simple tense The present simple tense. What the meaning of the present simple tense? The present simple tense is one of the most important tense in the English language. Okay? The first thing in the present simple tense is the K words. What the meaning of K? Do you know do you know K? K is a thing you can open the door with it. And the words words. You know the words. Ahmed is a word. Uh, the door is a word. A wall is a word. The school is a word. Any uh, word you speak that is a word. Okay. The key word in the present simple tense is words guide you to know the tense. Is the tense past simple, past perfect, present perfect, or present simple tense? The key words in the present simple tense is or are the first word is every do you know every usually sometimes always the first key word is every what's the meaning of every every you can describe it with 100% you do the action 100% percent you do the action when i say i play tennis every week means i play tennis every week 100% okay okay And usually, usually you can say 70 or 80 percentage or percent. 70 or 80 percent, usually. When I say I usually play tennis every week, okay? And sometimes you can say 50-50. 50-50. One week he go to the club and play tennis. And the next week he will not go to the uh, club to play tennis. Okay? This is 50 person. This you can say equals every 100 person. 100 person. Okay? I will give you an example about usually or always. I always watches TV every week and every week and 100% this man watches TV every week or every weekend okay 100 okay after that you can write the word never what's well, the meaning of never never zero percent no weeks he watches tv no days he plays tennis no years he go 
or he goes on trips. Okay? I never go out without the mask because of COVID-19. Do you know COVID-19? COVID-19 virus. Okay, Shabab? I never go out without the mask because of the COVID-19. Why? Because of COVID-19 is very, very dangerous. Okay? Nasallah Azza wa Jal al Okay, Shabab. Yibah, never, every, usually, sometimes, always, always. This is the K words. The second thing is the form. What's the meaning of form? Form means when I ask you, what's the form of your house? You answer me and say, the form of my house is the bedroom, the sitting room, the kitchen, the bathroom, uh, and so on, the basement, and everything about your house. This is called the form of anything. When I ask you what the form of the present symbol tends, two forms, two forms, singular pronoun and plural pronoun. The singular pr pronoun is he, she, it, and you can see your name, Ahmed. Your name is Ahmed, Ahmed. You can say my name, Ali, Ali. But you can't say Ali and Ahmed. Ali and Ahmed is plural pronoun, okay? But Ahmed, only Ahmed is one. Ali is one, okay? And the second form with the plural pronoun. They, we, you and I. I with the plural pronoun. Okay, Shabab? Okay. This you can take the verb plus S or ES or I ES. We are going to explain the first form of the present simple tense with the singular pronoun. He, she, it, Ahmed, Muhammad, Ali, plus verb, plus S or ES or I, ES. He play basket ball every Weak. Who can answer? Is it is it sentence right or wrong? Who can answer? I think is it wrong. Why? I said here he plus verb plus s or e s or i e s and I don't put any letters of the S, E, S, I, E, S with he. So I should put S. Okay? Okay. And with watch, you can put S or E, S or I, E, S. You can put E, S. Do E, S. Does. Uh, go, goes. You can uh, about X fixes, about buzz, buzzes. Okay, Shabab? Okay. After that, I E S. I E S, you can add it about the verb that ends Y. Cry. What's the meaning of cry? Cry. 
Okay? You can omit Y and put I E S. But you should know I E S or E S or S with he or she or it or Ahmed or any singular pronoun. Any singular pronoun. You should take it with the one person. The one person, okay? Okay, you can see about study. When I write they study, you can omit Y and what I E S, the wrong. Why is that wrong? Because it they. No they. This is plural. But I should write instead of she or he or it or any one person. Any one person. Okay? This was the first form of the present simple tense. The second form of the present simple tense is plural. The plural pronoun. The plural pronoun they, we, you, and I. Plus infinitive. The verb plus S, no S, no I E S, no E S, no I N G, no any letters. You can't add any letters after they, we, you, and the I in the present simple tense. They watch, no watches, no watching, no watched in the present simple tense. They watch TV every Friday. Okay? So the first uh, the first uh, the first form is he, she, it, Ahmed or any one person plus verb S E S I E S and the second form they, we, you, I plus infinitive plus infinitive. The third thing in the present simple tense is how I can use the present simple tense. The usage. The usage has three or four or five usages. Has many usages. But we will take three, only three usages for the present simple tense. The first usage, the habit. The habit. What's the meaning of the habit? The habit, when I write, when I write I always press our or my Praise. I always praise my prayers. That's wrong. Why? Because I is from the plural, the plural pronoun. And this with the singular pronoun. This is wrong. What's the right? Pray. Without S. Without S. Every day, every time, every prayer I go to the mosque or I pray in my, in my house or my home, at my home. I always, no time I miss the prayer, okay? This is the habit. You can say, she usually visits the parents every week or every Friday okay every Friday she goes to her parents home to visit uh, them to visit them okay this is the first usage is the habit the habit okay the second uh, the second thing or 
the second usage is defect. What's the meaning of defect? When I tell you that you are student and that I am a teacher, this is a fact. But you can say this is a semi-fact because tomorrow or next year or after five years you will be a doctor, inshallah, or engineer, or like me, a teacher. So you can say it's a semi-fact. He is a student. This is a semi-fact. Do you know the semi-fact? The semi-fact, a half of fact, okay? He is a student because after five years, he will be a teacher or any job, okay? But when I say the earth, the earth that we live in it, the earth goes around the sun. This is full fact. This is fact, okay? But this semi fact, this is full fact. Okay, Shabab? Okay. The third, the third uh, usage is the transportation dates. What's the meaning of transportation? Do you know taxi, airplanes, bus, cars, trains? All of this is transportation. The metro, subway, all of this transportation. Okay? The dates of all the transportations, you should put it in the present symbol tense. The plane arrives next Tuesday. The plane arrives next Tuesday. You say next, mister, next for the future. No, because it's transportation dates. Transportation dates takes the present simple tense, not future, not yesterday, or if I write yesterday, you can't take the past simple tense. Okay, or next for the future, you can't take the future. But the transportation date, you can write with the form of the present symbol tense. As, if it plains, you can omit as. Okay? I will give you some exercises. And in the comments, you should answer and write your name. Okay, these questions you will answer them on the comments and write your name. Okay, تكتب إجاباتك بشكل صحيح إن شاء الله وتكتب تحتها اسمك. أنا قلت باللغة العربية لتركز. معي شباب تكتب الإجابات عن هذه الأسئلة باللغة باللغة الإنجليزية طبعا وتكتب تحتها اسمك. The first question is Choose. I play tennis every day. I play tennis every day. You can write correct. So, the first question She play. Correct this sentence. The second uh, question is We does our homework every day. After that, he try to be a good person. The last uh, which the question is my father
visit his parents every fry day inshallah i wish you will be a uh, good uh, student and study hard and answer this inshallah or these uh, questions in the comments بارك الله فيكم سعدنا بكم ان شاء الله وان شاء الله نتمنى التاكيد على التعليقات وان شاء الله نلتقي في فيديو اخر في اللغه الانجليزيه سي يو سون السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته